guards, masses. Oh, actually, hold on. Where's my... Oh, you know what? I don't know. Never mind. I I'm gonna put the stream soon. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Kind regards, masses. It's me, Hi Bike, and I am back with some more Azumanga Dayo. So, um, I I did a poll on the server, and it turns out that um, well, I I wanted people to vote for either Devil Children or Azumanga Dayo for the next stream, and it looks like the majority, or actually anyone who voted, voted for Azumanga Dayo. So, um compared to devil children so we will be reading azumanga dayo tonight i will make it a drinking game again and um you know i didn't vom bomb or anything on uh you know from from the drinking game stream last time so i think we'll be okay if we keep if we kept the uh drinking game prompts but if i ever do need a change then sure because now instead of having like the beer and the vodka i now just have the vodka but um i'll link the drinking game when it's time i do want to say why i was gone yesterday well we did have the watch along um last night we were watching um some of the hakuoki ovas so it so okay there's like different sets of ovas for hakuoki the first set that we watched there were three and those all came out in 2011 but um it it has a, basically a side story um, during the first part of Hakuoki, like when they're all still in Kyoto. And like they add a character in, like there, there's like some dude who's supposed to be their treasurer and like he, um, he basically gets- well th there's like something that happens, like he gets lost with Chizuru and like the, the boys have to find him. And it's interesting. And the animation is cleaner. Like it looks- it looks like more vibrant like the coloring so i think that's the cool thing about that because like i think the original hakuoki anime came out maybe even like 2005 2006 like i know it was mid 2000s which is kind of surprising i don't know like the art style kind of makes it look like it came out maybe 2010s but well that that said it looks good for like when it came out also hi Hasbula and bath how we doing today what's up uh yes bath is here once again to chew bubble gum and kick ass and they're all out of bubble gum. Of course. Well, I hope. Well, you're not gonna kick my ass because I might kick yours. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Anyways, I I was in San Pedro yesterday for LA Fleet Week. So basically, um, they had like um the the battleship Iowa. You could get on that, but like if you wanted a full tour of the the ship, you had to pay. But um, getting on like the uh, was it the bow? The oh, shit, I don't know my ship terms, but like you could get on like some of the boat for free, and they were like showing a movie stuff, so, like a, like a free movie. But they also had. Well, I'll show the pictures. It was pretty cool. I got to be Snake basically yesterday. Like, hold on. I I'm gonna like go through some of them, but I got to go on this anti tank vehicle, like uh. Here's me posing with, like, the army dude. Like, and, and my dad. Like, <laughs> this is so cool. Like, I got to crawl in there and, like, you get to see what it's like in there. And it, it felt cool. Like, I got, like, the helmet with the microphone. Like, the guy just gave it to me. He's like, hey, you, you want to put this on? It, it looks really cool. And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, thank you. It, yeah, it was it was neat. Really, and then, um, let's see. I also had... I got to take a picture with this thing it, it fires rockets i forget what I, I forget like what all the names were but that was cool too getting to see those up and close and like they had another one on the other side and um yeah they were big oh here's me with the rpg yeah see like i got it was a little heavy like the guy was like oh are you sure you could lift this up it's a little heavy and i'm like yeah don't worry about it i i I can lift stuff up. But it felt cool holding that. Here's me aiming. I'll like put these up on um the server too because they're just too cool not to have up on there. Also like the it's like an ocean side place, but like it's like I'll show the boat too. But like the the weather, the, like Google weather said that 
it was gonna be like in the 50s like 50 degrees fahrenheit there but it was hot like you could you could see it's like really sunny it was fucking <laughs> it was so fucking hot because i was like i had like this um long sleeved shirt on oh here's another chopper that we had here holding me here holding a beer but um yeah like this was a long sleeve shirt so i had to roll it up and then i brought a jacket too just in case it'd be super cold but yeah you were gonna join a tekken 8 game dressed as kaiba oh sadly the streamer you follow was getting stalked and is not thinking of streaming anymore <sighs> that sucks see like uh man why do people have to stalk like that like it's not cool it's not cool doing that you're ruining this person's career and also well you know they're paranoid most of all but yeah i'm mobile snake this is the battleship iowa like we got up close to it so it, it's hard to take a full picture here's a shell that was like or the shell it's like on the ship they also had this um this navy plane on it too um uh, and uh hold on there's also where is it this was on the ship too vicky's doghouse i just really like the logo yeah but yeah like the stalking thing that's really sad what the heck like why why would it be like that why would why would they do that like this person is ruining everyone's fun not cool so uh moral of the story don't stalk people Th this is the la fire department boat I <laughs> this was um a cargo boat that had like a whole bunch of cargo i i took the italia one because i was like oh my god italy but yeah this boat was fucking huge oh this one was <laughs> here's me on the chopper they had like this fucking um gun on there too so i was like enjoying my time pretending to shoot from it should have commandeered the vessel yeah right i should have oh yeah and this dude was kind of in the way too but i didn't care i just wanted to pretend i was shooting the gun like pequod has arrived turrets are long yeah right like look at this thing yeah, like, this was- that was really cool. I think this was, like, one of my favorite parts. Vicky V. And shipping containers do go hard. Oh yeah, here's- here's me trying to look all cool. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know, shipping containers are pretty neat. Um, oh, this- I thought this was funny. <laughs> the marines had, like, this, um, this Hummer and, like, this big, um, this big marine dude, like, it's a- what do they call those inflatables that i just i don't know i just thought it was funny just seeing this but oh and here's me posing with the truck too yeah i got my arms crossed and stuff yeah um oh there was also a coast guard ship i it was like um oh my god wait i have to say like getting to this whole event you had to wait three hours in line it was worth it though there was also like um there were like some sailors um and they they were doing um covers like, like it was a band they were doing covers of songs and it was it was cool um you know what it is a cover so i'll i'll show a little bit of some of them but yeah the the lady was pretty cool here what, what was this one Oh my god, yeah, they covered that fucking Taylor Swift song that the fucking butthole guy did. I don't know if you can hear this. What the fuck? We have a raid? Lilia VV, thank you for the raid. Highly appreciate that. Welcome, Super Shaper, LMA, No Cat Girls, William V, Ali Sunny, Lyco, and uh, yeah, what's up? I'm just like showing off what I did yesterday. But yeah, I'm good. Um,. Yeah, like you I don't haven't seen you guys in a while, but I have to stream from mobile cuz my PC pretty much broke. I mean, it's not broken broken like we're close to recovering the files. Like um my dad's got the backup files going. We just kind of have to like sort things out. But um I do have to check if any like if everything runs properly, but it sounds like everything's still there. I haven't like looked at it myself. But I've been streaming from um I've been streaming from my phone, so like the usual lineup's gone, but we will be reading Azumanga Daio shortly. We're also making it a drinking game. Oh, this was cool. They had they had like these shells also, and they had they had one of them painted like um a Dragon Ball. Um. Also, 
I will say this, I'm interested in joining the Secret Service because, like, um, on the side here, you can kind of tell, like, they had, like, tents up for, like, um, different, like, military units, police units, and, like, they had the Secret Service, and I was like, oh, that sounds cool. So I'm, I'm gonna look into that. I am definitely qualified, but they I do have to do more physical training. And then besides that, I ate at this place called Shinsen Gumi. Which was fitting because we had that Hakuoki um, watch along yesterday, so it was cool. They had some good takoyaki, and this, the yakitori was so good, I didn't take a picture of all of them. Because they kind of served it out periodically. But like, this one was the, um, let's see, was chicken thigh with green onion. Really good. You're hungry now, right? Like, just looking at this is making me hungry again. Oh my god, it's, it was so fucking good. And then I got boba after. This is from Seven Leaves Cafe. They don't have any of these like out in my area, but like, it's funny. I got like um, free coupon, like or a coupon, no gift card, gift card coupon for like a free drink. Five different ones. I got them for Christmas from one of my uncles, but like, we haven't been able to use them until now because like we. <laughs> We don't fucking live, like, in any areas with these cafes. But, yeah, that's that was my day yesterday. And then today, I got to hang out with Jacob and Hippahog. Just hanging out at Hippahog's house. We um, watched a couple episodes of Great Teacher Onizuka. Um, a couple of- or actually, like, the first four episodes. It was funny. But, like, Hippo was, like, falling asleep. Because she was tired, but, like, she also didn't, like, vibe with it too much. But- I love the facial expressions in that one. It's funny. I'll watch more of it at a, at a certain point. And uh, we watched a couple episodes of Yuri on Ice. Uh, that that was fun to watch too. I like how um, there's this Russian guy, Victor. Like he keeps like he keeps speaking in English, and he'll say occasional Russian um, terminology too. But yeah, I never jumped on the Yuri on Ice train back then. Neither did Hippa. And, like, Jacob was just there. He's like, okay, yeah, let's watch it. And it was fun. Is he good? He is good. I, I think he's good. And we also watched some of this Korean drama on... Oh, fuck. I forgot. Oh, it was called Move to Heaven. It's about, like, this um, autistic guy who... Or his... Yeah, he's, like... He lives with his dad. And they, have they like, have this trauma-moving business where they'll um, move... Or, like, they'll clear out um, the rooms of people who passed away. But it's pretty sad. Yuri Cat. Yeah, you know what? Hippo kept saying that Jacob looked like um, the Japanese Yuri character. Because it, it's funny. There's two two guys in the show called Yuri. There's the Japanese one. And then there's a Russian one who looks all emo. But, <laughs> but like, it, we kept saying that Jacob would um, make a great Yuri cosplayer. But yeah, that's that's that. That's just what I've been up to for the past few days. But now we will get to Azumanga Daio. I'll go ahead. I'll pull up the drinking game prompts. You can take part with an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage, whatever you want. And um, scroll down to the Azumanga Daio section, and we'll also let you know when to drink. Um, I am. I have this vodka. I I can't talk today. I don't know what, what the fuck is happening. But um. I have this Smirnoff vodka that's strawberry lemonade flavored, so I'm going to be drinking that. Um, but yeah, let me go over the prompts. Take a drink ev for every Osaka moment, so like, just anytime Osaka's being Osaka, you know, she's doing her weird stuff. Um, every time Tomo does something impulsive, every time Yukari is a bad role model, every time Sakaki is hurt by a cat, every time Kaori is gay, every instance of Yomi abuse, Every instance of Chio abuse, every time Chio's dad appears, every time a panel repeats, so if you have like one panel and then the next one looks similar, then you drink for that. Every time alcohol is shown, every time a male appears, every time someone says, seriously, sheesh, don't worry, for real, calm down, among, and white. And then every time Kimura is a perv. I don't think we've met him in the manga yet, but yes. I, I, that would technically be two drinks because he is also male. You'll go make your coffee? Oh, yeah, that's right. Bath likes coffee for these games. Oh my god! The pros, the gal gal on the storyline. <laughs> the gal gals, right? 
Sadly, you need to retreat to work. Aww. It'd be like that, huh? But thanks for dropping by with the raid. I appreciate that. And thank you. I hope this goes well, too. Well, I mean, drinking games are always fun, right? Oh, yeah. You have a nice one, too. Good luck with work. And we'll catch you later. See ya. But all right, let's 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 get this party started. We are going to continue on with October part two. We got another nice Osaka and her gym uniform. I'll try, but I'm uh, sorry. All right, let's go, people. Come on, class prez. A speech to pump up the gang. Huh? Um, um, do your very best, everyone. But I'm afraid I'm going to hold you back. And if we lose because of me... <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, uh Don't worry. Oh, that's a drink. It's okay. This is all fun and games, remember? Oh wait. I think this is the sports festival. Alright, we'll have fun with that. Hard and steel. Remember, we're in this to win. If you think this is just fun and games, that lax attitude is going to cost us the championship. But but Sensei, I, I want to see. I want to see some spirit, some fire. I want to see you get pumped, Chio Chan. Rah! Rah! <laughs> oh, poor Chio. It's okay. What am I going to do if we lose b because of me? Pet. Uh, don't worry. I've got you covered. That is another. Don't worry. Wow, another drink. Sakaki-san! Oh my god, she is the coolest! <laughs> oh, that's definitely a lesbian moment for Kaori. That's a drink. Wow, you scared me! You could never coach school kids. That's difficult. It is, huh? Like, I don't know. It, it's it's hard working with kids. I don't know. Like, or I don't know. So, A lot of kids that I've worked with or like have been around they they tend to like like me but um yeah i don't know just like kids are there's something else it is definitely difficult working with them morbid's cooler than you oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna have to agree with that statement <laughs> one 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 three-legged race here we go womp let's count together so we can get our bearings Good idea. No rush. One. Damn. Way in front. 400 meter dash. Holy cow. Sakaki-chan is way in front. Go, go, go. She was first in the 100 meter dash too. Oh, there's Kimura. Okay, that's one or two drinks. Because, well, it's Kimura and he's a guy. But she clearly failed when it came to tucking her shirt into her shorts. Ah! You two, tuck it in. Shut up! Go away! Damn, Kimura jump scare. Pull, Osaka. Tug of war. Heave ho! Heave ho! What does heave ho mean? Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave ho! What does heave ho mean? Shut up and pull! Oh, we got two similar panels. That's a drink. Don't let go. Chio chan takes up the rear. Heave ho! <laughs> drag, drag, drag. <laughs> Rip Chio. That's, that's a drink for uh, similar panels up here. Oh, also another drink because male spotted. Okay. Let's try it. Hey, the boys' gymnastics looks fun. It does. Oh, that, that is a boy. That is a drink. Again. Let's try it, Chio-chan. Come on, do a handstand. Huh? But... Don't worry. I'll make sure you won't fall. That is another drink for a don't worry. You will? Okay. Ha! Tomo, what? Ta ha! Thwam. Oh, damn, rip. Okay. Oh, you know what? Wait, I just realized that's Chio abuse. That's a drink. Hold on. The ones back here... Okay, Chio's just hurting herself there. Or wait, hold up. I just realized, too. I think this would count. Uh, I 
actually no never mind i won't count that as chiyo abuse or bad role modeling or anything all right osaka and glasses scavenger hunt i need glasses glasses someone give me glasses here click whoa <laughs> you don't have to put them on four drinks in pure bliss or it's definitely been more than four we are we are feeling it tonight everyone but her ball toss what huh but but knock it off this is serious oh that's yomi abuse that's a drink <clears throat> excuse me it begins for her Spoon, spoon, hop, hop. Everyone was afraid Chio Chan would only be a burden. Ooh, look at that little girl. She's so cute. But she scored big in cheerleading. Hooray! The relay race. Victory! Yay! Hooray! What did you have to do with it? Oh, two drinks for Kimura. The closing dance. Time for the folk dance. On the boys' side to make the numbers even. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's a gay moment right there. Kaorin's moment of bliss. That's a drink. You know what? The, the two... The second and third panels are pretty similar, too. I'll drink for that, too. Okay. Welcome. I'm so glad I participated in the folk dance. Welcome! Your next partner is me! What? Um, oh, two drinks Kimura again. <laughs> no! Are you enjoying yourself, Kaorin? Don't call me Kaorin! Hello, goodbye. Nyano, you owe me 10,000 yen! Whee! Fine, fine. This is what I was afraid of. Here. Oh, oh, here. Yippee! And now to retrieve the 10,000 yen you still haven't paid back from before. Snatch. Huh? Oh, the drink for similar panels. Oh, we got a little Kaorin. Sh shall we eat lunch together? November part one. I knew it. Oh, bonk her her pigtails coming off or or no they don't show them coming off she's just moving them here no sleeping while i'm on the clock just checking and it was this big boop, boop. what's the matter that's what i thought oh it's a drink for similar panels she'd do it up on the roof isn't this lovely weather the breeze is so nice. I feel like I could jump off and just fly away. Do it. Give it give it a shot, Osaka. <laughs> Don't do it. It's fun eating lunch up on the roof. Food always tastes better when you're higher up. Oh, she's still thinking about it. Gimme. That looks good. Can I have a bite? Huh? Oh, come on. I'm always letting you copy my homework. Hey, that's my line. No, it's mine. That was good. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> was it good? Delish. Ah! You gals are so hyper. <laughs> Coffee house. L Let's decide on our class exhibition for the cultural festival. Does anyone have any ideas or oh, opinions? Haunted Mansion. Coffee House. Those are so cliched, though. Huh? Is that right? <coughs> what other ideas can we... <coughs> Cough... <laughs> like this. Graveyard. So it's down to a coffee house or a haunted... No, no, no. Orthodoxy is the graveyard of intelligence. Let's do something more creative. Like... Well, there's nothing wrong with the coffee house. Uh, may you have luck. Insert suggestions for cultural festival exhibition. Hey, what did you just put in there? 
five yen? That's supposed to be for festival ideas. Well, according to the legend of the suggestion box, there is no legend. Oh, that's a drink for similar panels. <coughs> Excuse me. Osaka's idea. Something different. Well, it's fairly obvious that any haunted house we try to make would end up pretty crappy. We might could have an athletic festival with just our class. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, those, the first and third panels are like pretty much the same, so I'll drink for that. Not technically stealing. Let's discuss our ideas for the festival again. First, I'll open the box. We oh, definitely similar panels here. That's a drink. Fairyland class. This might be a good suggestion. A stuffed animal exhibit. It will be an exhibit of the entire school's stuffed animals. They're the sc entire school's stuffed animals, yes. That way, the animals will be happy too, meeting lots of new friends. Aww. Well, that actually sounds neat. That would be so cute. I've got one or two that I won playing the claw game at the arcade. Whose idea was it? It seems to be an an- oh, or wait, I think that might be Chio. It seems to be an anonymous suggestion. It was definitely Sakaki that suggested it. Bunny outfit. I think this is going to be fun. We should come up with some really cute, silly uniforms. In that case, I have a proposal. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's two drinks. We've got Kimura being up her. The important part is that the top is the usual school uniform, and the bottom is a school swimsuit. Uh, oh, ah! I almost missed that. <laughs> cute mascot. I think we should make up a mascot for the class, and make a costume for it. Oh, that's right clever. No artistic talent. Aw, oh, you tried, Sakaki. Rub, rub. Make it look cuter. Decorating. Mm. <laughs> Pretty much no dialogue. Dead serious, of course. And we got similar panels here, so that's a drink. November part two. We got Sakaki with the cute little bear ears. I know her armband says Neko something. Mascot. The big day is here. This is a very good exhibit. Yep. And we got the costume made. Oh, it looks great! But you don't have the hang of it yet. Here, let me try. Hang of it? Oh, wait. Oh, oh! We got a translation for what Sakaki has. Ear tag says Fairyland Class 1-3. The button says Sakaki. Armband says Cat Squad. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. You got a coffee. Very early morning breakfast sandwich and a PC that can barely run BG3. Hey, at least you have a PC that can run, huh? Haha. <laughs> But nice. Uh, breakfast sandwich sounds nice. Wait a minute. Bath, are you... You were, like, uh, in the UK, right? Actually, I think I remember you mentioned that once. But I, mean, I wasn't sure. Are you Scottish? I remember you mentioned the Highlands. Get in the mood. You're not... You're no? Okay. No to what? UK or Scotland? Get in the mood. <laughs> Where are you going? You live in misery. Oh. Well, you know what? A breakfast sandwich at... Are you guys... Is it 2 or 3 a.m. over there? Well, either way, a breakfast sandwich in the early morning hours... Well, you can't beat that. All right. Because, yeah, you say morning breakfast, and I'm like, uh... Are you in the UK? It's 2 a.m. Okay. All right. But breakfast sandwiches do hit, though. Friends. Friends. What? 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 What the? Bon I like the sound effect says bong. You both live in misery and are miserable. Yeah, that makes sense. I think everyone in misery is miserable. <laughs> Tomo at your service. <sighs> I'm back. Man, I'm beat. 
Where did you go? Advertising, robe, robe, spreading the cuteness vibes around the school. I'd say it was more like terror vibes. At least your friends keep you afloat. Yes, friends are very important, so that's good. I like to hear that. Mystery creature, ooh. May I try the costume on? Sure, we'll switch. <laughs> oh, creepy! The water trade. Oh, we got the swim team and drinks. How's the drink stand going? Ugh, that is... If this is the swim team's exhibition, then why aren't you wearing swimsuits? That is, that is two drinks. I like how Kagura's the one who's just, like, nameless and appearing randomly. Kurosawa-sensei, excellent timing. Scold these girls for me. Ah, oh, dear. Delicious water. Fine. I don't care about the swimsuits anymore. I will simply order a glass of pool water. Huh? Pool water! A glass of water from the pool you swim in! We're not selling that, you creep. Oh, God. Yeah, every single time Kimura's on screen, it's always guaranteed perv moments, so that's still two drinks. Okay. Dunno. Welcome, y'all. Come on in and have a look-see. Oh, a foreigner! That is a male. Did I have any rules on foreigners? Mm. Oh, damn it, I keep thinking this laptop is fucking touchscreen, but it's not. Okay, I don't have anything for foreigners. Just a guy. So that's a drink for the guy showing up. Hey there, pretty girl. How are you? What are you supposed to be? Is your costume like some kind of religious Japanese thing? What are you saying? <laughs> oh, that's a... So, wait. That's a drink for similar panels, too. Damn, my glass is almost gone. English teacher. Hey, kids! How goes the exhibitioning? She's pumped. Ah, good timing. Ah, a fool! Wait, you, I thought you Yukari liked talking to foreigners because she's she can speak English. That's a drink for a male showing up. I made them. Aw, they're so cute. What are these supposed to be? These Sakagi made. That one's a dog and that one's a cat. Or maybe it's the other way around. You know what? Hold on. I think I think it's time to start modifying the rules here. We should get rid of the every time a panel repeats. Because this is going to happen a lot. It's part of the humor of this manga. I'm considering getting rid of the every time a male appears. But we have been getting less and less males here. So I think we'll keep that for now. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Okay. Wait, hold on. Just double checking. I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. At Tomochan's request. So, what's this? Tsutengtaku Tower. And this little one in the corner? That's Hanshin. The area? Yep. While you're at it. So, Kaki san can you take a picture of me? Sure. Click. Thank you! And now me, while you're at it. There is no inside. Click. By the way, who's on the inside? Me. Oh, it can't be true! It can't be! So, Kaki san Well, okay, he was trying to rub up on her, so that is technically two drinks. Because guy and also it's Kimura. We can part of her. Okay. Yeah, so like I just went through my whole glass, so uh it's time to switch, so I will I will take a little break here to get a little more. So I can't see chat messages for a bit, but we will go get some more strawberry 
lemonade, vodka. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, all these prompts. Because, like, you know, honestly, I was trying to find, like, if anyone made some drinking prompts for Azumanga Dayo. But no one really has. Like, this is all, all of these prompts have just been me. So I'm like, man. How, like, Azumanga Dayo is, like, popular. How have people not made drinking game prompts? Tofu, leave Snickers alone. Come here, Tofu. My dog Tofu loves to bully my dog Snickers. Which he shouldn't be doing. Because fucking... Snickers is old. You know what? I thought, like, for this whole time, I thought Snickers was 13. But thinking back, he should be the same age as my cousin Zach. Like, my younger cousin. He's 15 now. Like, he's in high school. I keep forgetting that he's in high school. Like, it doesn't feel like he should be in high school, but he is. So, Snickers is, like, really fucking old. Ugh. Like, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about this dog. Because, honest, like, my... If I'm gonna be real, he's been vomiting a lot for the past few days. And he kind of, like, fell down the stairs. But, I mean, it's to be expected. He's fucking old. But I'm just appreciating him for still being around. Whoa, Tofu, what the heck? This dog is fast. It just came up next to me for no... What? He came up next to me like I swear he was right next to Snickers. Now he's here. Oh, now he's gone. That dog is a little ninja, I swear to God. Alright. I'm refilled on alcohol and I'm ready to continue these prompts. That's not good, the vomiting? Yeah, it's not. Like, I can't be surprised because he's old. It makes me sad to think about, but I mean, what can you do? He's old. More liquid courage, yeah. See, I got liquid in a glass right here. <laughs> I mean, yes, I have liquid in a glass. I meant to say I have courage in a glass. I mean, it's true I have liquid in a glass, but... It's more courage in a glass. It, it's it's just more fun in a glass. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Back to the Azumanga Dios. I've got the matches. And the festival is over. Oh, I thought that was Yukari talking. Great job, class. I had fun. Liquid in a glass. How revolutionary. Right? I know. I'm ahead of my time. <laughs> Liquid! So, what's to be done with these stuffed animals? Burn them? Ah! You mean we're not going to burn them all for a memorial service? Memorial for what? Oh, you know. Intruder? At Chiyo Chan's house later that night. Woof, 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 woof! Tadakichi san! She took it home. <laughs> she still didn't take it off, what? Woof, 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 woof! Tadakichi san, look at him. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, and he's thinking about Chio. Oh, how cute. December part one. Damn, we're already in December. What have I done? Though I did not pull the trigger, I filled the gun that he holds in his hand. God, I love the proto man. Boo! <gasps> Her pigtails fell off. Ah! Ah! Oh, she's dreaming. Of course. Of course she's dreaming. Is that true? Ready to skedaddle, Chio-chan? Oh, but I wanted to stop by the bookstore on the way. There's a very cute panda picture book coming out today. But the hype was so huge, it might actually be sold out already. Oh, I reckon I will we'll see. Oh, the cocky's fucking dashing. No running in the halls. You can't stop her from her adorable little pandas, Kurosawa. Come on. Chiyo's panda. Wait, which bits of the panda's white and which bits is black? Oh, that's a drink for white. Ah! 
I think. That ain't really it, though. Hmm. You're probably right. All suckers, Panda. I saw one on the TV once. It looked like... <laughs> I love it. I love that little sketch. What's that there? Whatever it is, it's not a panda. <laughs> Change of pace. I'm getting tired of only ever teaching English. Today you're getting a math lesson, courtesy of me. <laughs> math. What kind of hijinks is she up to now? Scratch that. We're doing P.E. Everyone outside. On the double. You caught me of the wind. <laughs> it's freezing out here. How did English turn into P.E.? You are all children of the elements. You don't feel the cold. Yes, I do. But wait. That would mean that adults are the elements themselves. Like wind. I am wind! Hear me roar as I blow freely and... Uh... Why is she so pumped up? She's feeling that mighty wind, that's why. I would too if I felt that mighty wind. <laughs> I'm Hyde. I've got it! We're going to play soccer! Do you even know the rules? Of course I do! I'll be Nakata. Huh? I'm gonna be Nakata. What do you mean? Oh... Pause. A, a side note really quick. I've been reading Kafka on the Shore. I, I haven't mentioned- I don't think I've mentioned this before, but that book is really fucking horny. They mention a lot of, like, sex scenes or, like, the guys fucking wanking off where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm having these horny thoughts and I'm like, wow, man, I don't really want to be at work reading this, but okay, sure. That's all. <laughs> It is still very intriguing, though. Like, it's it's getting interesting, but I don't really want to spoil it. But it does get horny a lot. Like, no, wait. Like, literally a plot point. Like, this guy, he's trying to get information on this rock that he has to go see. Like, some kind of, like, mystical, sacred rock. And, like, Colonel Sanders from KFC. Or at least he claims he's Colonel Sanders because he dresses like him. He's like, yeah, I've got um, a hooker that you can, like, um, sleep with and stuff. She's, she's like, our best sex machine. And I'll get you the info on this rock you want to see if you, like, bang her. And he's like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's, like, a thing that happens. But I'm enjoying the book. Anyways, back to Azamanka Dayo. Yukari the Striker. Hey, yeah! She shoots, she scores! Sensei, that's your, that's your own team's goal. <laughs> but I was a spy! That doesn't make any sense. I told you, I'm Nakata. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, the reason I'm thinking of Kafka on the Shore, like that book I'm reading, is because like one of the characters is named Nakata. Anyways, here we go, here we go! Uh-huh! Pass it away! <laughs> Enough of this! We're playing dodgeball now! Arr! Run, Chio, run! Yeah! Fweb. Get him! No, no! Bwong! Oh! Rip. Hither and thither. Somehow, Chio Chan was the last one left. Uh -huh! Look out! Here it comes! Just hit her already. Wait! That's Chio abuse. That's a drink. Okay. Broken VCR. Hey, did you record that show I asked you about yesterday? Oops, sorry, I forgot. <sighs> I should have known. I was an idiot for asking you in the first place. Idiot! 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 Damn. Vacation plans. Gonna get another job at Magnetron Burger over a winter break? Nah, that was just for the summer. Is it true that they use cat meat for the burgers there? What? No fooling? That's the most obviously fake rumor I've ever heard. Yeah, but I hear cat tastes pretty good. No fooling. But it's not cat. I bought it. Look what I bought! Pandas? I 
Aren't they just the cutest? Oh, wow. I ain't never seen no panda in real life before. Oh, I have. They're super cute. Was it black on white or white on black? Uh, oh, oh, white. That's a drink for white. Always wanted to see it. We should go and see them at the zoo sometime. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Pandas are cool, but I want to see it's other thing. What? That, um, what's it now? You know, when your life flashes before your eyes. What? Don't do it, Osaka. What the fuck, Osaka? That's a drink. Because that is definitely an Osaka moment. Oh, December part two already? Damn. These really do go by quickly. Something nice. I got these as a Christmas present. What's them things? Oh, her pigtails. What's them things? <laughs> Eat the kettle corn. Whisk fennies. Yeah. Dude, I could really go for some kettle corn right now. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm craving that now. How are we doing today, Borg? What's up? We're doing a drinking game, so if you want to take part, you could... Excuse me. Click on this link. You can use an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage, and then you can scroll down to the Azamanga Dio section. <laughs> Excuse me. Scroll down to the Azamanga Dio section, and we'll also let you know when to drink. New ones. You see? Blup. They're new ones. No. <laughs> oh. Thoughts. My thoughts. On Azumanga Dayo. Now, who's going to answer this problem? Tomo-chan. Um, in a word, difficult. I see. What about in two words? Super difficult, I'd say. I see. What in the world? You're chilling? Yeah, we chilling out here. We all chilling. All right, awesome. How inconsiderate. Hey, what's the birthstone for December again? Turquoise? What? I think you're talking about turquoise. Hey, Chio-chan, that was her punchline, not yours. Yeah, that ain't right. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Don't take them seriously. I still can't do the Yosuke sound bite. <laughs> That's a drink for seriously. Back to work. <clears throat> so, anyways. Hmm? What's the birthstone for December again? Tur, don't just start over. Shame. Cleaning time. Na, 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 na. When I look out and see all my friends cleaning, it just tears me apart inside not to be able to help. Start cleaning then. <sighs> Results. I've got your report cards here, people. First up, Chio-chan. Yes, ma'am. Chio-chan is already near the top of the school year. Whoa. Closing time. Yeah, you got my reference, yeah? <laughs> That's a good song, honestly. I miss that. Ah, uh, good times. Of course, none of this stuff is going to help you out in the real world. Next up, Oyama-kun. Yeah, um, Yukari spitting facts. Like, seriously, that shit don't matter out there. Learning. Here, Tomo-chan. You've got some work ahead of you, girl. Really? But you just said none of this helps in the real world. That's just what school learning is like, you idiot. If you want knowledge to get through life, take a page from your grandma's book of wisdom. Next, Kasuga-san. But my grandma's dead. Damn, rip. You're the master of useless shit. Endless, meaningless knowledge, kinda. Yeah, I can see it. Kinda. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Like, music trivia is the best kind of trivia for me. Christmas party. Merry Christmas! We're gonna party tonight! Today's plan. Wandering around, going to karaoke, eating cake at Chio-chan's house, then a slumber party. Ah, oh, the life. And now that the gang's all here, let's go! Ain't nobody got a boyfriend. 
What kind of cake did you bake, Chio Chan? It's a. Oh, what's that? Butcher French. Mmm, I can't wait. I mean, it sounds delicious, but man, fuck the French. Mm. Wrong. I get to point. Uh, I get to pondering Christmas rolls around. Y'all know Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's messed up, you know. Saying his nose will help light the way at night ain't no way to make him feel better about it. Sure, I guess. <laughs> this is definitely an old sucker moment. That's a drink. If you told a bald, <laughs> if you told a bald fella you needed the light reflecting off his head to see, he'd like to punch you. Santa's a cruel bully. You're right. I never thought of it that way. What if Santa had a bald reindeer? Yeah, I think that would be very effective. Yeah, where's Baldy, the bald-headed reindeer? In <laughs> oh shit. I accidentally threw my phone on my on myself. <clears throat> Imposter. Oh, that's that's Omogus. Damn. <laughs> what? Imposter. And Rudolph's got his own problems. Are you still thinking about that? What kind of nose lights the way at night? How's that even work? What if Rudolph ain't even a real reindeer? But something else. Well, it's definitely a drink for an old soccer moment. That is. <laughs> so is Rudolph sus? Did he vent? Damn, dude. Oh my god. Speaking of like Christmas, fucking HIPAA. The whole, like most of the day, she'd be singing. Oh, come all ye faithful, like in a very bad singing voice. And apparently, like she said that she'd been seeing that at work. And like she even, like one of her coworkers even recorded it. And you could see her like spinning in like the office chair, like singing very badly like that song. And I got stuck in my head for a bit and I'm just like, God damn it, hippo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, man, What? I was even, like, whistling it for a bit. But it's not in my head right now, thank God. Oh. Anyways, back to Azumanga. Work for it. Everyone pick a song. Hey, 72 points. Oh, we get graded on this? I see. Uh, I see. I see. Golden Pipes. Oh, my stars. She can study and play sports with the best of them, but she can't sing worth a look. This girl. I never thought it. But she still likes to sing. Yeah, in the anime, like, all this, all the characters have, like, character songs. And, like, I remember for the episode where they're doing karaoke, Yomi is doing her character song, but it's, it, it's just very bad. She just, like... She's singing like hip a hog today. We were it's all like, oh, come on, ye faithful. We were eating outside too, cause like um there there's not really much room in her house to eat. But like um we were all sitting out there with Hippa, Jacob, and uh, Hippa's mom and sister, and like Hippa would be constantly like or not constantly but frequently singing like oh come all ye faithful like in a very bad singing voice like out of tune. It was funny. But the food was really good. We had, like, chicken, and we had brisket, and, like, um, Hippa made beans. It was really fucking good. It was a nice time. But anyways, back to Azumanga. Run for it. Ah! I sewed my brains out! Sakaki-san was such a good singer! Uh-huh, no. Like, or, I know! Like a pop star! It's snowing, you guys! How romantic! Snow on Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, oh, it's one of these panels. It's not like a forcoma. Oh, bath is lurking now. All right, you're cool. Just, like, kick back and relax. Like a pop star. Unlike someone else here. Oh, shut up. Singing comes from the heart. Hey, it's snowing, you guys. How romantic. Snow on Christmas. I have been dreaming. 
or I've been dreaming of a white Christmas. Okay, that's a drink for a male and also white. But he's not being a perv yet, so that's just two for now. But I bet I bet he's gonna do something pervy. Ah! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, he's just showing up. It's not a pervy thing. To be continued. Try harder next time. Oh, we got comments. Okay, let's read the notes. Sure. Before we get to year two. Azumanga Daio, Volume 1, Translation Notes. What? Common honorifics. Okay, no, we don't need to read that because I'm pretty sure you guys are all weebs. Monetary conversion. No. But it's true, 100 Japanese yen is 1 US dollar. So if you're in Amer if you're from America and you go to Japan, you're fucking rich. But everything's like cheaper there anyways. It's so convenient. It's so cool. It's very awesome. It's very cool. Title, Azumanga Daio. The first part of the title is a meld of the author's name, Azuma, with the word manga. The second part comes from the magazine in which the series originally ran, Dengeki Daio. Very cool. Japanese school year. Unlike the American custom of starting the school year in the fall, the Japanese school year rolls over in the spring. In high school and below, there are generally three terms or trimesters in a school year. The first from spring to summer, followed by summer vacation. The second from fall to winter, and followed by a winter break. And the third and final term from the new year to spring break. Most Japanese schools split secondary education, 7th to 12th grades, into three years each at junior and senior high. Homeroom. Homeroom in Japanese schools is a more central feature than we're used to here. A class will often spend several periods of the day in their homeroom classroom, while the teachers move from class to class to teach their subjects. In addition, these homeroom classes work together on a variety of school duties, such as cleaning the campus and organizing exhibitions for student festivals. Therefore, class arrangements play a significant role in a student's education, as they can potentially be placed in the same class of 20 to 30 students for their entire time in high school. Another note, classes are often labeled by year and then room, i.e. class 1-4 would refer to the first year class in room 4. Daily helper. Part of the student responsibilities within the Japanese class system is the nichoku, or day duty, a role that, the, that places certain tasks such as assisting the teacher or cleaning up the classroom or campus on a student within the class. This responsibility is rotated each day between the students of the class. Standing in the hallway. This form of punishment involving holding heavy bu buckets full of water in the hallway is a throwback to the days when corporal punishment was regularly practiced in schools. They don't do it anymore, of course, but Tomo back then was all like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this because I've been bad. Well, it's cool that they have these little cultural notes here so you can know better. Peepet. Oh yeah, I was wondering about that. A reference to the Japanese email service, PostPet, a comprehensive program that gives its users the ability to raise electronic pets who interact and deliver mail. PostPet started in the late 1990s and gained popularity right around the turn of the century. <sighs> Excuse me, when this part of Azumanga Daio was originally drawn, the author most likely abbreviated the name out of copyright concerns. The most popular pet... And overall mascot of Post Pet is a pink teddy bear named Momo Osaka. As the second most populated metropolitan area in Japan, Osaka represents the most significant and recognizable source of culture outside of Tokyo. Long considered the major center of commerce in Japan, Osaka does some of the most brisk business in the nation. If Tokyo is the place where people call the shots, Osaka is where they make their money. Because of this, Osakans are often stereotyped as being loud, lively, and fast-paced, which is kind of true. Thanks, comedy business, uh, the Kansai area that encompasses Osaka, along with the Kansai dialect of the Japanese language, is virtually synonymous with stand-up humor. 
um, like the manzai. The most popular form of comedy in Japan, manzai is typically performed by two people, the boke, or clown, and the tsukomi, or straight man. The humor is derived by a simple pattern. The boke makes a silly or bizarre statement, and the tsukomi corrects him, often fiercely. The routines are fast-paced, punchy, and exaggerated. The audience knows to expect humor from two sources, the cleverness of the bokeh's misunderstandings and double entendres, and the force with which the tsukomi yells or hits the bokeh, with a slap on the top of the head or, more stereotypically, a backhand slap to the chest. Despite this latter source of humor, Tomo's reaction uh, here is clearly way over the top. The interjection, nande yana, what you mean, is the most basic and generic form of Tsukomi put down. And the Kansai dialect. I actually am curious about this a little bit. Japanese has a wide variety of dialects that differ from standard Tokyo Japanese in a number of ways, such as verb forms and conjugation, particle usage, vocabulary, and accent. Out of these, the dialect family of the Kansai, Western Japan area, particularly, particularly, the Osaka dialect is the most widely recognized and understood nationwide, thanks in part to the comedy industry. Yeah, that is true, huh? The speakers of standard Japanese, Osakan speech sounds faster, rougher, and livelier. The irony, of course, is that the students of class 3 expect these qualities from their Osakan transfer student, when in fact her personality and demeanor are the exact opposite. In translation, we opted to have Osaka speak with something of this of a southern accent, which is the largest accent group in the United States. Sage, the United States, which is true, because if someone has like an Osakan or Kansai dialect, they're usually shown with a Texan accent if you want to do English dub. But like the only difference I've seen so far is like in Persona 4 Arena and Arena Ultimax with Labyrinths. She's my favorite character. Oh wait, I, I can't. I can't do the accent right now. But like, she basically speaks with like a Boston or New York accent, which is different. You don't usually see that for like Kansai dialect, in English dub. But I appreciate that because they always default to Texan. Because it's like, yeah, people from Texas they have like you know that stereotypical um, Southern accent. It's different from I don't know the rest of America, but. You have your New Yorkers and your Bostoners, and they do sound a little different too. So, like, I appreciate they went with that because usually it's like if you want a different accent from the U.S., you usually default to like Texas, which is fine, I guess. But like, yeah. like you know that Southern dialect. Anyways, let's look more at these notes. Takoyaki. Oh, I love that stuff. Octopus dumplings. That are rounded into spheres, with special sauce dripped on top, a specialty from Osaka and extremely popular. Like I will say, the takoyaki that I had at that Shinsenkumi place, it was good, but it wasn't good as genuine Osakan takoyaki. Because, like, I don't know, like, it was, like, a little too crunchy at Shinsengumi. It was still good, though, but, like, I don't know. Like, the one, the takoyaki in Osaka, like, I don't the outer part, the crust, it was crunchy, but, like, not too crunchy. Like, it had a good consistency. It was very hot, though, but that's because it was, like, fresh. The Raido Games translates the Taisho era slang to 1920s American slang. I think that's neat. That is neat, because, yeah, like, it's from, like, about the same era. So, interesting. I can't wait to see that when I get to play the Raido Games. Very cool attention to, like, time period stuff. Mmm, katsudon. These guys are making me hungry, what the fuck? Literally meaning cutlet bowl. This dish features deep-fried pork cutlet topped with egg and served over a bowl of rice. Curry udon. Udon is a type of wheat noodle, typically much thicker than ramen. One popular udon dish served in a soup broth made with Japanese curry powder. Because the udon noodles are larger and heavier than most, they can be difficult to control, and curry, of course, will stain anything. But it's still great. I still prefer ramen, though. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Marco, the protagonist of 3000 Leagues in Search of Mother, a well-known anime series from the 1970s based on Edmondo... The Amikis, from the Apennines to the Andes.
Oh, interesting. Marco is a young boy living in Genoa, Italy, whose mother goes to work in wealthy Argentina to make money for the family. The family. Worried for her safety, Marco decides to stow away on a ship across the Atlantic to find her. Interesting. Like, it's interesting that Japan has such um a big interest in Europe. I watched, like, a video essay on it. It's, it was a nice thing to watch. But they do, like, fantasize about, like, you know, old-timey Europe. It's, like, fantasy kind of setting. It's very nice. Um, let's see. Manzai, the most popular form of comedy in Japan. Manzai is typically performed by two people. The book, wait, I read that, never mind. We're at Tama. An extremely generic name for a pet along the lines of Spot or Kitty or Biscuit. Like, I named my own dog Biscuit, like, back in the day. Okay, cat food. The act of adding miso soup or some other kind of broth to a bowl of rice is called nekomana or cat food particularly in western japan which includes osaka interesting hmm that sounds nice american joke as the japanese don't particularly have an equivalent to the typical question and answer joke attempts to explain the humor in why did the chicken cross the road are rarely ever able to transcend the culture barrier the term american joke is often used in japanese to describe the concept of a joke but and due to the impenetrability of the humor, American joke is used equally often to describe some sort of jest that nobody understands or finds funny. Interesting. Um, pears. The original joke in, uh, I don't know what strip that was, refers to uh, linguistic counters. In English, we have a simple plural system with exceptions that makes it easy to count objects in or to count objects. In Japanese, however, multiple objects must be quantified by a counter, of which there are a great number, many being related to the size or shape of the object being counted, i.e. hon counts long, thin objects such as pencils or rivers, etc. The counter word cho is one of the most unusual of all, representing cast metal objects such as guns, tools, and scissors, but also tofu blocks, town blocks, and, yes, Bantu panties. Osaka was originally wondering why they used that counter and what connection there could be between panties and weapons. I don't know, um, panty and stocking. <laughs> Isn't her panty like a gun or something? When's panty and stocking season 2 coming out? I know they announced that at like AX last year, but like, when's season 2, man? It's been so long. It's been fucking years. Ugh. Anyways, Neko Koneko, this brand found within the brand of Azumanga Daioh, means cat and kitten. Uh. Home visit gifts. The giving of gifts when visiting a home for the first time is traditional. It's not such a big deal for the girls since they're not that old, but the signs of wealth are clearly intimidating to Tomo. She's like, oh man, fuck them rich people. Watermelon is a decadent and particularly expensive midsummer treat suited for gifts and special occasions. Mm. Watermelon splitting, a common game played at the beach, beach similar to piñata, in which the player is blindfolded, given in a, or no, they're given a sticker bat, spun around until dizzy, then attempts to break the melon. Ghost stories. The dub is funny. In Japan, telling ghost stories is considered a summertime activity. The reasoning is that the spine-chilling terror it provokes will help cool you down. Sounds like as good a reason as any, for sure. Lightning. The Japanese god of lightning, Raijin, is said to eat or steal the belly buttons of exposed stomachs. Oh, damn. I gotta hide mine, then. This is mostly a folklore warning against the danger of sleeping with the stomach exposed in the summer. It's a general belief in Japan that sleeping with one's stomach exposed, especially in conditions of sudden chill, such as the onset of thunderstorms, can lead to ailments like colds and diarrhea. Therefore, it became common to frighten children into sleeping fully covered by warning them that the god of lightning would come to steal their belly buttons. Oh no! Bread. What Yukari offered Kagura was an unpan, a roll filled with jam made from sweet red beans, which are so good, by the way. Oh my god. Kaorin. Her regular name is Kaori. It's a common practice to make nicknames by adding N to the, on the end, especially if they end with Ri. 
Kind of like with Nalia and like Brad the Chat is the only one who calls them Nalin. It's very cute. Oh my god. Good. Best ship. Coffee house. The Japanese word for cafe, kisaten, starts with a somewhat complicated and seldom used Chinese character. Still, it's not much excuse for a high school student. Huh. Hanshin Tsutenkaku. Hanshin is a nickname for the area comprising Osaka and Kobe, based on altered readings of the kanji in those cities' names. While it's not an official title for any city or region, it appears in several widely recognizable places, such as the baseball team Hanshin Tigers and the great Hanshin Earthquake that, rep- er, that rocked Kobe in 1995. Tsutenkaku, meanwhile, is a recognizable landmark in Osaka modeled after the Eiffel Tower. I did not know that. Interesting. Nakata. Hidetoshi Nakata, nicknamed Hide, was the most prominent soccer player in Japan during the 90s and the 2000s. He attracted attention not only for his great skill, but his fashion sense and haircuts. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's the school building the club. Interesting. All right. It is time for year two, I believe. Look at... Chio and Sakaki and Tomo and Yomi and Kagura. That's right. I think she should be joining her class at this time. It's January. Winter morning. Ding ding. Good morning, ma'am. This is Kurosawa. Oh, hello, dear. Yukari says she's not going to work today because it's too cold. That's Yukari's mom. All right, I'm coming in. Please beat some sense into her, won't you? Aw, oh, damn. I feel like that. Twins! Oh, it's going to be a good year. A good year. She got two. That's surprising, especially from those shitty-ass claw machines. Good job, Sakaki. Cat repellent. Cats don't seem to like it when you make direct eye contact. Oh, I thought she was going to get bit. All right. Everything's fine, right? Wow, a lot of these panel, like, these comics, they're all, like, silent. Oh, except this one. Blob. Hey, did you get a little weight over the new year? Er, I bet you just sat around and pegged out on the Zony feast on New Year's Day, right? Actually, it was the sweet bean soup. The bean soup gotcha, huh? I can see that. Naked jealousy, ooh. Chiyo-chan, how much New Year's allowance did you get from your relatives? Pardon? I've seen your house. I bet you get a ton of cash, you lucky runt. How much? 100000 200000 Don't you dare tell me you got over a million. A very good girl. So, how much? Well, I'm already in high school now. I'm too grown up to accept those gifts anymore. High schoolers aren't allowed to get a New Year's allowance? What the fuck? Damn, dude. Newborn. Hmm? A New Year's card? It's from Yukari Sensei. Um, hoping you have a New Year. Wait, what? Mrs. Yukari. Hello! Yukari chan, what was that card all about? Uh, sorry. I mailed them out a bit late. Not that, the baby. When did you give birth? Congratulations. That's my cousin's baby. Stop confusing us like that. Damn. Dropped something. Oh, that's Kimura. But I mean, it's just male so far. So that's like one drink. Okay, see you next week. Uh, Sensei, you dropped something. A picture of a woman? Cute. Who is she? My wife. Or, okay. The Japanese version goes, my waifu. And apparently, it's been cited that, like, Kimura, when he says, my waifu, apparently that was, like, the first time, you know, waifu was ever used. Excuse me. So, like, Western communities were all, like, um, you know, with their... With their um favorite female characters, their beloveds, they'd refer to them as waifus because of this line. So Azumanga apparently kickstarted that. That's that's what I heard, anyways. Very interesting. 
No way! How? Uh, but... Uh, oh, that's... Okay, Kimura's still there, so that's a drink. As a male. This pretty lady is your... Uh, uh, is this some kind of joke? What are you talking about? The Kimura family. Oh, he's... Kimura's there again. Let's drink. Here's a photo of us together. Aw, uh, look at that precious family photo. Um, and this kid... Oh, that's my daughter. But she looks so smart! Incomprehensible. I still can't accept that Kimura has a wife like her. It's too weird. Yeah, really. Maybe we ought to call the police or something. I yes, good idea. Because he's sus. Chio the lawyer. <laughs> this is very cruel. You're treating him like a criminal. He's just an eccentric teacher. But he carries on like a criminal. Yeah, something's fishy. She can't have enough reasons to pick someone like him. Well... Maybe they share the same interests, or... I don't think much of her interests in that case. Seriously? Seriously? Alright, that's a drink for seriously. Okay. The lady's secret. Well, maybe his wife is like... Super twisted and mean in person. That's why she picked such a terrible... Now hold on just a minute. What? What? You scared me! From what I hear, she's got a heart of gold to accept him and all of his faults. Y you mean, she's an angel? Damn. Ooh, first dream of the New Year special. Oh, was this when they're all getting the, the different dreams here? Let's see. Osaka's first dream... Why flinch, Chio chan I like how it's, like, the same panel. Good thing I stopped the prompt with, like, the same panels and stuff. Because, yeah, it's literally the same thing. All four. Flying Chio. Blip, 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 blip. Why flying, Chio chan I'm only ten years old! <laughs> Damn, the lie. In the flesh. Would you like to fly, too, Osaka san Huh? Me? Fly? You can borrow mine for free! What? You mean I can fly for free with these? Anywhere you want! That look very good on you! Eh, uh, but... Parasites? Eh, uh, don't you want them? Look, look. But they're so in right now! Wouldn't Sam Hale's her problem? Of course. Those things are controlling her. Oh, damn, of course. Destruction. I'm gonna save you, Chio-chan. <laughs> Rip. Plop. Ah! Go away. I'm so sorry, Chio-chan. If I hadn't took him off the wrong way. <laughs> I would have flown somewhere far away. Clack, clack. Flip, 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 flip. Where am I gonna go? <laughs> Damn rip. In Tomo's case. Tomo's first dream. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. What are friends for? That's a drink for you. Don't worry. Mommy! What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? High level 100. Ah, it was so hard, I got a zero. I got a 100 on it, but I'm willing to call it your win. You're so nice, Tomo-chan. Stop, don't flatter me. Go on, look closer. A perfect 100. Oh, of course, it's very Tomo. Oh my gosh, there's another 100 inside the 100. Incredible. <laughs> nah, no big deal fast. 
You win. No, I just didn't get slapped for any bad jokes today. It happens. Plus, I may be fast, but not as fast as a car. There's always someone better than you. Oh, in Sakaki's case. Sakaki's first dream. Oh, and she has cats. Blankets, of course. I want to give you a very cute kitty cat, Sakaki-san. But I can't have cats. But this is an abandoned cat that no one ever picked up. So he's in a really tough spot. Oh my god, wait. Okay. That's Chio's dad, but I don't know if they're counting it as Chio's dad yet. So... I mean, at this point, you don't really know if he's a guy anyway. Well, I know. I know what he is. Excuse me. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take a drink for that. Just, just one for Chio Chan's... Or a male, at least. We haven't seen him as Shio Chan's dad yet. Wowzers. Ten months? What? Ten months? Wait, are you subscribing? I can't see anything right now because I'm on... I'm just looking at, like, regular chat. But if you have subscribed... Or actually, wait. I can check if I go on Twitch. Never mind. Twitch is, like, not updating. But I appreciate that if you did subscribe. Like... Yeah, thank you for that. Like, 10 months is quite a bit, so I appreciate you. How we doing today, Loza? What's up? How we doing today? We are doing a drinking game stream, so if you'd like to take part, you can click on this link. Excuse me. Scroll down to the Azamanga Dial section. Excuse me. We'll let you know when to drink. And, of course, you can use an alcoholic beverage or an non-alcoholic beverage. Excuse me. Whatever you prefer. On a walk... Oh, I mean, that that's a, that's a guy. I know that's a guy cat, so that's a drink. Do you like cats? Yes. Even knowing that I am a cat? Y yes. Of course, you just said she liked cats. Cat style. Well, this is goodbye. Huh? Why? Oh, that's another drink because it's still a guy. What would cat stall even be like? Anyways. It may surprise you to learn that I am not really a cat. I am Chio's father. Thank you for watching over my daughter. Okay, now that he actually said that he's her dad, that's a drink. You must venture forth to seek a real cat. You've got a ways to go before you will, though. But, but how do I... Do not ask me, for I do not know. No! Wait! Damn, Sakaki will never learn those answers. Hold on. Air conditioner started. It's getting cold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my blanket up here. Nice and comfy. Dreams. Now here I go again. I don't remember the lyrics right now. So I ended up sleeping so much. Uh, so typical. Uh, speaking of dreams, I didn't actually have one after New Year's this year. It's too bad. <gasps> really? You showed up in my dream, Chiyo chan Oh, mine too. And mine. That's amazing! What was I doing? <laughs> All their different reactions. Eh, what? What's the matter? Oh, it's a Tomo 154 and a Yomi 163. It's February now. Woo! Tomo got that track jacket. The Taiyaki Spirit. Mmm, Taiyaki. That sounds good right now. Fuck. Ah! I've got a craving for some taiyaki. Talk about random. Chio-chan told me about a really good place to get it. Let's go. I'm good, thanks. Aha! You're on a diet, aren't you? You sucker. Correct. Well, you can sit there and watch me eat. Let's go. Damn, dude. Really? You do that to your bestie? 
Just watch. I'll have one red bean, one green tea, and one custard cream. <laughs> oh, these sound so good. You're having three at once? Yeah. Want one? Absolutely not. I'm eating your share, see? Helping with the diet. Gee, thanks. Yeah, me. Just for today. 120 yen each low-calorie red, ble- red bean flavor. Um, one red bean, please. You are so weak! Yo, I'm all... <laughs> Can't take it. Aw, no. Tomorrow's the day of the big marathon. I hate them things. I ain't no good at them. What are you good at? Like puzzles and stuff. Oh, really? No, sorry. No good at puzzles. Why make a joke if you're not going to stick with it? Damn. Teru Teru Chio. If only it rained tomorrow. Someone help me. People say my disposition is so sunny. It makes for fine weather at these events. Maybe we ought to hang you upside down. Then... You drive the sun away. Upside down, tatter tatter chio. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe we gotta try it. Huh? Hmm. I don't know. Does that count as chio abuse? Because they haven't actually done anything yet. They're just like threatening her. I don't think I'll count it. <laughs> Torture Island. Oh, they really hung her. Huh? Come on, you can do it! I'm trying! Dizzy. Ah, all the blood rushed in my head. Way to go, Chio-chan! Tomorrow is sure to be to rain. Wait, what? <clears throat> Tomorrow is sure to be rainy. Woohoo! Like that I made her a country bumpkin? Yeah, I mean, that's just how they translate her anyways, because she's from Osaka. If you're from Osaka, usually English dubbers or translators translate them to have, like, southern accents. The country accent. As opposed to Labris's, um Boston or New York accent. Which I appreciate, because it usually defaults to southern. <laughs> As if. Uh, let's see. What's this? She's an Osaka girl. Yes. She's from where Joey is from. And the question will be Goku. Wait, Goku? For real? Huh. I didn't realize that. But yes, Joey got that. I guess... Yeah, I didn't think of it that way. But they do give him that Northeast American accent. So maybe he did speak with an Osaka dialect. Not really sure about the original subs. Interesting. Sunny Skies. The day of the marathon. What gorgeous weather! Let's do it! I hope I can finish! Foolish Chio, you ought to set your goals a bit higher than that. Eh, I, I should? Emulate the way I run. I emulate the way I live. Or, no, emulate the way I live. Huh, okay. Joey and Goku are meant to have country bumpkin accents. That's why Joey... Being Brooklyn isn't super inaccurate. True. That is weird. Yeah, they could have gone with, like, Texan. But I appreciate that they have Brooklyn. It fits him, I think. Aerobic exercises. Aw, I was afraid of this. Just think of it as a diet. Oh, I see. None of us would ever choose to do a long-distance run normally. This is a golden opportunity to shed weight. But I don't need to lose no weight. I ain't fat. Wait. You trying to say I am? Yeah, yo me the. <laughs> and she ran over the horizon. <clears throat> Go! Dash. It's time for the final sprint! Dash, 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 dash. Uh, already? I will. Dear best big sis. She has a little sister. What the fuck? Damn. I don't remember that from the anime. 
Do your best. Do your best. Do it every day. Aww. You okay? Midway through the race, the stragglers. <sighs> hey, it's Tomo-chan. What happened, Tomo-chan? I reckon y'all were way up there. <laughs> why don't you why don't you catch your breath first? Damn. The light. I, I thought if I'm not going to be in the first in, in first at the end, uh, uh at least I can be first at the start. <laughs> what? So you see, I was in the lead after the very first mile. I had my shining moment of glory. Uh, wow, that's really cool. So that's what you meant by your way of life? I, I can do it too. Uh, hey, Chio-chan. Oh dear, oh dear. Ah, Chio-chan. Already? Blue, blah, blue. <laughs> Welcome back, kiddo. <laughs> this is no way to live. I agree. Damn. One win, one loss. Ah, we came in last. Ah, ah. The worst. Ah, ah. Here. Th thank you very much. Where did you place Takagi san first? No. I'm not so good at long distance running. I got sixth. Ah, that's re still really good, though. Checking results. Whoosh. Damn rip. Oh, that's what they this these panels they reference that in the the opening for the anime. Interesting. Spring. <sighs> Today is my payday. That makes two of us. Anywhere. Let's hit the town for some drinks. Uh, oh, she's drinking. That is a drink. Okay. And that's what makes me a bird. Hey, I think you've had enough to drink. No, Sensei, I can continue. I must see this faithful or er, faithful course to its end. And what end is that? Education theory. Education, you see, is like this chicken yakito yakitori. I'm the chicken and you're the onions. Oh fuck, dude. I'm reminded of that yakitori I had back in Chin Sengumi. That shit was so good. I also had, like, lychee soda from there. Now, I've had lychee ramune before, but, man, that shit really hit. Oh, fuck. Man. Anyways. Are you following me? Not in the slightest. That's because you're a gym teacher, which is what the idiots do. Say that again, bitch. Ooh. Overconfidence. Oh, oh, she's vomit bombing. Oh, this could be bad. Maybe you should stop drinking so much since you're a lightweight. But I believe in myself. Don't. Really. Man, doing good. <sighs> Please donate. <laughs> Since I just got paid, I can afford to do a good deed. <laughs> uh, only have 500 yen left, so I better not. Damn, she broke that promise. Also, Kimura is right there. That's a drink. It is a drink. How are we doing today, ghost? What's up? And we are doing a drinking game. If you'd like to take part with an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic non beverage, Click on this link, scroll down to the Azumanga Daioh section, and we'll also let you know when to drink. But Kimura's a guy that's a drink. I bet he's going to be a perv too, so that might be another drink. Teacher. 
Here you are. Oh, thanks again, sir. We always appreciate your help. K- Kimura Sensei? Who oh, said a 10,000 yen bill? And he said always. Oh, Tonizaki Sensei. Is this not a natural thing for a teacher to do? You know, honestly, I'm surprised he's not really saying anything pervy. Because usually in the anime, every time he shows up, it's usually a pervy thing that he says. But that that was just like uh, betting stuff. Cause I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. Ah! I hate it when a creep does something nice. What a creep. Is he supposed to be a saint or something? That's a good thing. Oh, we're in March part one already. Damn, they're getting close to the end of the school year. Read between the lines. Hey, Yummy! Look, Yummy-chan! Hmm? Yummy-san! Mizuhara? Koyomi Mizuhara. Here. I don't really get that gag. Eleven years old. I hear it's almost your birthday, Chiyo-chan. Ooh, really? That's right! I am nearly eleven. I'm that much closer to being a big sis! Oh? Eleven years old, huh? She still looks younger, though. Damn, bro, be like that sometimes. Like Chiyo-chan. <clears throat> Even in elementary school, I was still one of the shortest. It's fine to be tiny, gal. That's what makes you Chiyo-chan. If you got bigger, you wouldn't be Chio Chan no more. You'd be Chio. What's the difference? Poor talker. How did you get to be ta- so tall, Sakaki san? I don't know. But being short is cuter. Ah, but being so tall is cooler. Cooler? But if you had to choose, cuter is, um, stronger. Stronger? No, nah, I, I feel Chio right there because I'm short. I wish I could be taller. Growth spurt. Are you still growing, Sakaki-chan? I think. I knew it. You're bigger than you were last year. You 5'1 yet? Wait, 5'1? No, that can be right. 5'7. That has to be 5'7. Uh, at least. <gasps> Watch out, Chio Chan! She's sucking the heart out of you. Short queens rise up. Oh, I appreciate that. I do wish I was taller though, because I just want to look intimidating. But I appreciate that. Give it back. Did you take my height away, Sakaki-san? No. You took it, didn't you? Give it back to me. Uh, um. Please give it back! Give it back! Give it back! Look at Sakaki! She's freaking out! Chiyo chan sure knows how to attack like an 11 year old. Oh, that's right, she's 11. I thought she was like 10. Oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna um, burp. Honest thoughts. But I gotta be honest. Them boobs. Very nice. Very nice! Damn. <laughs> Boom. Hmm, true. They are rather suspicious. Of course, mine have been growing lately, too. Huh? No way! I thought you were on my side. So, how big are they? You can tell the nice man. Well, yeah. What? You're kidding! That many sizes larger than mine? I had no idea. Huh? That even possible? Give him back! Give him back! Uh, damn. Proportion. That's amazing. No, it's not. My body's just bigger overall. Oh, I get it. If you was my height, we'd probably be the same size, huh? Yep, yep. Yeah, right. Damn. How... Oh, no, I thought this is how. UDW, unidentified driving wife. Oh, it's Kimura's wife. His waifu. Hey, look, isn't that Kimura's wife? 
Uh, you're right. She really does exist. Experiment. Here we go. We're going to find out just how nice she really is. Um, she's a person, not a monkey, so... Well, if you were Guido from Jujutsu Kaisen, she would definitely be a monkey. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. I read the latest Jujutsu Kaisen chapter for, like, last week. Oh my god. It's crazy. Holy shit. I was just like, what the fuck the whole time. Like, damn. Like, I didn't expect it, but it makes sense if you, like, think back on, like, certain chapters. It's like, what happened during this certain part? And then you read this chapter, and it's like, oh, damn, of course that's what happened. Like, damn, dude. Man, fucking JJK got me fucked up. But anyways, back to the Azumanga dials. Very nice. Roll, roll. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. But bonk, donk, ah, oh, owie, toss. Oh, she really is nice, or she is really nice. I mean, same thing, right? Warning signal. Oh my goodness, you must be Chiyo Chan. Uh, you are cute. Eh, um, how do you know who I am? Uh, I'm sorry. My husband is a teacher at your school, and he keeps telling me about this adorable little student he has. <laughs> he tells you about me, does he? Yikes. Well, they don't say what exactly he's saying, so I won't take a drink for Kimura being a perv yet. Showdown break, or redo. Ah, uh, it's the biting cat. Here goes. No, Sakaki, don't do it. You don't have good rapport with this fucking cat. Secret plan. Ow! Chomp. <laughs> she tried. That's a drink because she got abused by this cat, though. Okay. March part two. We're off. Oh, shit. Going through March. Some more. Trap. Happy birthday, kiddo! We brought presents. Wah! Well, come into my room. Thanks. Sakaki-san. Hey, Sakaki-san. Oh, I, I feel that. I'd be petting Tadakichi-san, too. Like, oh my god. Hippa, had, Hippa has, like, this eight-month-old German Shepherd. It's either a purebred German Shepherd or a mixed German Shepherd. But she's so cute. But, like, damn, like, I'm, I'm like, short, so, like, if she, like, jumps up on you, like, for me, that would be, like, almost all my height. So, like, like, she, like, sometimes she'd jump up on me and I'm like, oh, no, you can't do that. You're almost as tall as me. But she's very cute. Oh, my God. Anyways. Hi there. Wah! Sakaki-san gave me a kitty plushie. It's so cute. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. That might just be what I need to bus. That might just be what I need to bus. Cause I'm bussing. I'm bussing. <laughs> Anyways, what should I name it? Its name is Monbuchi. You can't just name it yourself. That's up to the owner. What the fuck? Oh, it already has a name. Monbuchi? Monpuchi. Man, Sakaki. Background. I'll take good care of it. Be sure to give it plenty of love and care. I never would have guessed it, uh, that you give your stuffed animals names. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, you and I are going to get along great. Monpuchi's actually a girl. She's the youngest, and she has an older brother and sister. Damn, Sakaki building up on that lore. Names. You know, I found out that racehorses have some pretty cute names. Oh, yeah? Like, um, Dear Doctor and Hoof Hearted, I think. Those are cute. Maybe we ought to give that kitty a name like that. No. Huh? But, no. I think those are cool names, though. 
Damn, Sakaki, you're ruining her dreams. What the heck? Reunion. Oh, well, anyways, my present's another stuffed kitty cat. Russell Russell. Ah, what a strange looking cat. <laughs> Sakaki's like, oh my god, it's Chiyo's dad. But that's... What? What's wrong, Sakaki-chan? Father. <sighs> Excuse me. What? What could this mean now? This is the father. Mampachi's father? No. Chio chan's. Mine! Ooh, she's on to it. Coffee time. <laughs> Damn, that closing time song is going to be stuck in my head. Good times. Anyways, coffee time. Oh, I brought some coffee. Oh, how many sugars? No, thanks. I don't need any. Ah, you drink it black? How grown up? Oh, please. It's nothing. <laughs> no way. Have you always drink it black? I thought you... Yep. You weren't doing this for your diet? No. Sus. What is this stuff? Yuck. Aha! I heard that. You said yuck. Uh, no I didn't. Yes, you did. You did. Liar. They will win. What's this? Are you a Giants fan? They're going to win the pennant this year. <laughs> Nice try. You know it's going to end up going to the dragons. Giants! Dragons. Giants! Dragons. <laughs> the giants always say they're going to win, and they always lose. <sighs> I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong. That doesn't count as chill abuse, huh? I don't think so. I keep reading. Flying treasure. Wow. You've even gotten the player's signature. And out the window it goes. Okay, that. That is abuse. How dare she? What the fuck, Tomo? Scummy. How dare you do that? Damn. What the actual shit? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Fun, ya. Ah! Okay. That's still pretty shitty. How dare she even attempt to do that? What the fuck? That should not be a thing. What was that? <sighs> uh, I can't stop sneezing. Oh, I thought that was a yawn. Hey, chill. Me neither. What? Wait, that was a sneeze? That's an Osaka moment. What the fuck, right? Like, you should not do that. I drink for Osaka moment, but like, seriously, you get a signature or something from like a celebrity, even if it's like a D-lister or something, you shouldn't just throw that shit out the window. That's like an asshole thing to do with the actual shit. Oh, I'm getting all comfy in bed here, man. That's the good thing about streaming from mobile. Okay, let's see. Hey, Joe. Oh, maybe I got a cold. Uh, you don't think it's hay fever? That's what I've got. Hay fever. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. What? What's her revelation? I understand. Well, that's it. I got hay fever. I was wondering why I always get a cold right at the start of the spring. It's cause of hay fever. Hatch. <laughs> Fucking Osaka. That's another dream. Hatch. Hatch. Fad. Chill, chan. Guess what? I got hay fever. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that! Oh, there's no so. Whatever. 
Tomachan, guess what? She seems happy about it. <laughs> Getting drafted. End of third term. Are you going to be our homeroom teacher again next year, Yukari Sensei? Sure am. Ah, uh, I hope you are. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I'm especially trying to keep you, Chio chan. You make a good secret weapon. Yay! What does it mean? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, 133. We got Chio. Excuse me. Osaka on 156. <gasps> We've reached the year two mark. Ooh. I could go for a little bit longer. Because we are at like, what, one hour, 50 minutes run time? Yeah, we can go a little further. April part one. It's time for the new term. Oh, changing classes. Morning, Chiyo-chan. Have you seen the new homeroom assignments yet? Morning. No, I haven't looked yet. hey Oh, everyone's here. Let's go see the chart now. I hope we're all in the same class again. I wish I could be apart from Tomo for once. We've been together since elementary school. <laughs> don't be a jerk, jerk. That's great. I don't have any classmates I've been with since the beginning. Of course not. Together. Together forever and ever to part. Together forever with you. And don't you know I would move heaven and earth to be together forever with you. I like that Rick Astley song, damn. Anyways, together. Uh, second year class assignments. Ah, huh, there I am. I'm in Yukari Sensei's class. Me too. Me too. Me too. That's great. We're all together. I ain't. Huh? Redeeming features. Ah, uh, you're right. Uh, why? <sighs> Yukari-chan has a shrewd eye for talent, you know? She's saying you're cut from the team. Huh? You ain't no better a student than me, Tomo-chan. Maybe so, but... I got pep on my side. Purple pep. Damn. Goodbye, Ayumo Kasuga. No... Don't worry. I'm sure you'll make new friends right away. Chill, chan. That's a drink for it. Don't worry. Okay. Wait a minute. Isn't that Osaka supposed to be you? Huh? Damn, just... <laughs> I love that. It's all random, like, Japanese kanji, and then you got Osaka, and all English lettering. That's funny. Roster. Oh, Sakaki-san! We're in the same class again! Hello! Yep. Sakaki-san's so cool, isn't she? I know, I know! Uh, that's, like, kinda gay, right? I'll count that as a dream. Hello, people. It's Kagura. Oh, hi, Kagura-san. Yukari-sensei is serious about the sports festival. Yo! Rivals. Yo! I've always wanted to have a chat with you. Huh? I heard you're a lot like me. You don't remember me, do you? Nope. Damn, rip. Hold on. I don't know. Did I make a drinking game prompt for um, Kagura yet? I don't think I did. I didn't. Okay. Oh, you know what? I found out something interesting. So Kagura's voice actor in the anime, same voice actor for Chizuru from Hakuoki. Like, I don't know. I I guess if you listen close enough, you can kind of hear it. But, like, damn, they're, like, two different personalities. Like, voice actors, man. You got to have good range. And it's, like, you can play different characters. That's, like, impressive. Good shit. Anyways. 
put her there. You know, we competed in the sports festival and the marathon, and the we always end up fighting for the top spot. You don't remember. You really don't remember? Nope. Well, anyways, we're rivals now. Put her there. Huh? <laughs> Cocky had, like, no consent to this. Famous idiot. Ah, it's Chiyo chan What? Oh, sorry. I recognize you because you're famous around here. I'm Kakura. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Surely Chiyo chan isn't the only celebrity around. Or have you forgotten about me? Oh, yeah. You're that idiot who sprinted out of the gate when we ran the marathon. I remember. I remember. D did you just call me an idiot? Damn rip. No lessons learned. I will be your homeroom teacher, Yukari Tanizaki. You'll notice that the class is almost entirely the same as last year. But let me assure you that it's not because I'm too lazy to learn a bunch of new names and faces. That explains it. <laughs> For real. Wolf. Going home now, Sakaki? Let's walk together. No after-school practice for me. If you're so athletic, why don't you join a sports team? I'm not so into sports. Uh, very much. Hmm. The rumors are true, then. You're like a lone wolf, shunning the pack. A wolf. That's so cool, you rascal. Whoop, whoop. Man. How could you? Trip, trip. Hey, a cat. Psst, psst, psst. Meow. <laughs> Look at him run. Damn, Kagura really scared that cat off. April part two. Hold up before I do that. One hour and 57 minutes. And I guess we can do a little more. Sure, why not? Nyamo's place. Ding dong. I'm here. That's odd. You never come over to my place. I always have to go to you. Man, they've been doing construction on my street all day. It's been driving me crazy. Good night. You came over to sleep? Damn, that's a mood. Morning. I've been on a coffee kick lately. It's so relaxing. A large part of that is the sense of tranquility that comes along with it. Ah, what a gorgeous day outside. The sun. Close the damn curtains. Ah, why would you shut, or I mean, would you shut up? You need to shut the fuck up right now. Damn. Morning coffee. What? What's this coffee? Or what's this? Coffee? Here, drink up. Nice mug, isn't it? Uh, how much did it ruin you? About 15,000 yen. Huh? We could pig out on Yakiniku with that kind of money. Yakiniku! I've got a great idea. Let's go out for Yakiniku tonight. Yakiniku! Oh, man. You're all are making me hungry. Difference in values. It's 100 shocking moments caught on film. Whoa. Oh, I think that was fatal. Ugh. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Too corny. Next, a moving channel or a moving tale of rescue. Beep. Boop, boop. Why you change the channel? I hate rescue stories. Damn. Seniority superiority. What's a little girl doing so or doing here? You're a new student, aren't you? Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Commanding respect. My name is Chihio or Chihio, Chihio Mihama, and I am in my second year here. 
that me hama senpai to you. <laughs> senpai. I'm a senpai now. <laughs> Man. Takino. Hume-sama. <laughs> You're such an idiot. How come? What's up? Osaka just said she brought or thought Bruce Lee's last name was his first one. Uh, tipsy people. So, you think his name is Blue 3 or something? What's he supposed to be? A member of the Power Rangers? Oh, then where is number one and number two? Oof. Maybe Jackie Chan would be fi- Blue Final One? Who? Stop now. Uh, what's our runtime? Two hours. Okay, I think I definitely need to stop here. I'm getting sleepy, but this was fun. I always, always love doing drinking games with you guys, especially if it's all the manga dio. I'll be sure to remember that we're uh, here, tipsy people. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this stream. As always, love chatting with you guys and hanging out. Now, since later today is Shin Megami Tuesday, it's more likely that we're going to be playing um, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Children, Black Book. But we'll just wait and see. But yeah, you guys, please take care. Hopefully you don't get sound up by these guys. Oh, God. But yeah, I'll be gone. Have a good one. Mata name, my dudes. Hope you have a lovely rest of your night or day, wherever you may be. And yeah, GG easy for real. But yeah, hope you guys have a fun one. And uh, adios, amigos.